New Zealand just passed the um, uh, same-sex marriage laws. Yeah. Oh, right. Word up, New Zealand. We want to get that happening here in, uh, in Australia. Do you think it will? No. Oh, not with the politicians we've got now. It's ridiculous. Uh, that's really concerning. No, the Australians want it. They won't give it to us. It's ridiculous. Shame so, um, on yeah. you, Don't you reckon? politicians. My question is, if aliens were to land, um, would you guys be a supporter of interspecies marriage? I would not ever want to vilipend anyone's way of living. I mean, okay. you know, so if an alien wants to live, you know. That's nice. I feel like I feel like we need to take sure. care of the human race and 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 work for marriage equality among our own species before we can start to think about other ones. You got to think of the future, though, Zach. I know, but I'm more interested in the present because that's what I'm actively fighting for and working for back in the states and anywhere I can. I think yeah. marriage equality is a really uh, not to get on a soapbox or anything, but I get think it's that. we get on it every you know, time. It's we something talk that to yeah, yeah. I mean, I think it's just something that is. Uh, it's just an inalienable right of, of humanity, and I think we all need to be... And, and it's honestly, you know, to tie it into the world of our film, it's like this is a, a crew of people who come from incredibly diverse backgrounds, work together with a spirit of support and acceptance and faith in one another. And uh, I think Gene Roddenberry, who was a master at allegorical storytelling, would have seized this time yeah. and this issue in, in, in the world today to, to tie it into the way that, that he told stories and wouldn't just capitulate to the overwhelming sort of uh, public discourse about the issue. He would have done something creative about it. And, and in my own way, I feel grateful to have that opportunity myself. I'm picking up what you're putting down, brother. Cool, man. Um, <laughs> did you have to show those eyebrows off for I did, yeah. Okay, so you don't just live on set, you go outside into the real world. Correct. How is that? Uh, uncomfortable. Yeah. Frustrating sometimes, mm. but uh, well worth it in the end. Mm. Uh, it's it's a, a pyrrhic relationship that I have to that aspect of the character because there's so much reward, but uh, it comes at, a, you know, a certain amount of discomfort and, and embarrassment, I guess. I just wear a lot of glasses and hats for seven months. Big glasses, you yeah, look like Nicole Richie. <laughs> yeah. Do? Yeah. I really? Yeah. Oh, big glasses, Nicole uh -huh. Richie, that's uh -huh. what happens. Right. We've got Joel Madden here doing the voice, that's all we can think about. <laughs> <laughs>